Hey guys, it's TTL back with another video for you. And today we're going to be taking our quick look at the new GTX 770. Now you may be a little bit confused that we've got a Titan in the shot at the moment, but if I put the Titan over there, you can obviously tell it's a Titan because of what it said there, but get the Titan now. No. 780, no. So what are we looking for? 770. Ah, there we go. There's the 770. And yes, you're not seeing things. If I put them up, I should have put them a little bit better. You're all going to be saying, oh, it fell over. And the reason why I'm doing it is because they are pretty much identical. If it wasn't for that little bit of branding on the top, you would never know. It's really just little bits of cooler difference. Now underneath, things are very similar. People were saying that it was going to be, they're going to move these two out of the way now because we need the room. People were saying that it was going to be just a rehashed 680. Now, if I put the PCB like that, I'm going to bring a 680 in. Now you can see it's a 680 because of the stacked coolers. But if we bring the 680 in, you can see that it is very, very different. And I mean very, very different. Completely different PCB. But if we move this over, I'm not even going to bother showing you the um, 780 because we know the 780 is the same as the Titan. I'm going to bring the Titan in and I'm going to stick that by the side there. Now you can see it's essentially the same PCB. There are a few uh, very minor differences. We can see that around this area here, this being the 770, this area here, we can see that the, the Titan is slightly different. We don't know 100% yet how things are going to go with water blocks. The actual size of the PCB, the way the power connectors are lined up, the way the cooler actually mounts itself to it, because it's exactly the same cooler underneath. It's exactly the same as the 780 and the Titan. So the 770, as far as PCB and cooler is concerned, shares more with the Titan than it does with the 680, um, which isn't a bad thing. It's the color still lights up on the side. Uh, and I personally think that this OEM cooler is probably the best OEM cooler to date. I love it. But when you get down to the nitty gritty, the actual GPU on the core itself, and I've made some notes, look. Um, it is, if we have a look, just to show you, this is 770, this is 680. So same uh, amount of CUDA cores, 1536. The 770 is going to come in a 2 gigabyte version, which they advise for a 1080 screen and a 4 gigabyte version for high def screens, or, you know, high def. Um, uh, 2560 by 1440 for example. Uh, base clock is 1046 versus 1006, so that's a 40 boost. 1085 on the boost clock compared to 1058, so you're looking at about a 30 megahertz bump on the boost clock. Memory's a bit different, mind. 6000 gigabits or 6 gigabits a second, sorry, on the uh, 680, but over 7,000 or 7 gigabits a second for the 770. And I will say as well, when you get it and get to play with it, the memory on this overclocks like fucking no one's business. Um, in EVGA uh, Precision, I got um, about 150 stable boost, but with a 550 uh, boost on the base clock and I didn't do any overvolting or anything like that that was all within Nvidia standards and that came out with the memory in that being well when you're looking GPU Z being over 2000 now they work it out between 7000 and that I think that probably at that point run at over 2k I think you times it by four so that would have meant that it was running at over eight gigabits a second so the memory in this is definitely an upgrade what you need to do though is because we are going to have um, a full review live on OC3D where we'll be able to see 2560 by 1440 results. You'll be able to see the uh, uh, Metro Last Light used for the first time on this because finally Nvidia gave me a, a key. You'll also be able to see it compared with the 780, the uh, Titan, the 680, the 7970 
you'll be able to see it with all of the the cards that you really want to know about um, and uh, also if you want to have a really in-depth proper review make sure you head over to the Tiny Tom Logan channel um, Tiny Tom Logan the OC 3D TV because uh, I, I, I don't there's a lot of people out there saying you know the rebrand's bad I'm going to explain to you why I think this is actually an absolute fucking masterstroke but for now at least this is Tiny Tom Logan with another video for you out